Hello everyone, my name is David Giglio from Ozen Engineering and in this video I will show you how to compute the apparent inductance and incremental inductance using the flux linkage and current results from the magnetic transient solver of ANSYS Maxwell. One important thing to do is apply mesh operations to the core to ensure that the FEM elements in the core have sufficient resolution to obtain accurate results. I have applied three-phase excitation to the windings of one amp and frequency one kilohertz and the period is one millisecond. Here is an example of the current after running the simulation this is the results. So for phase A I will use as an example where to compute the inductance where the current varies from zero all the way to one amp maximum occurring at 250 microseconds. So to to create the flux linkage versus current plot, apply the flux linkage one to one in the y-axis and in the x-axis uncheck default and apply input current for one to one. And for the time range, set it to from minimum zero microseconds to 250 microseconds, which is a quarter cycle where maximum current occurs. And in this plot, it is flux linkage versus current and the derivative of this plot is the incremental or differential inductance. Now, the apparent inductance is computed by computing the slope of the line from the origin to the maximum operating point, which here is 20.655 micro henrys. Now, the derivative of this plot, I said, is the incremental inductance, which is obtained by taking the derivative of the flux linkage versus current and that is done over here let me show you in the y-axis apply derivative of flux linkage one to one divided by derivative of input current so now d lambda over dt divided by di over dt the dt's cancel out and the result is d lambda over di so that is incremental inductance change of flux over change in time and the x-axis uncheck the default apply input current and the same thing change the time axis from zero to quarter cycle and this is how the incremental inductance versus current plot is obtained and the average of the incremental inductance is 20.655 micro henrys which matches with the apparent inductance obtained from the flux linkage input current plot. Again here, 20.655 micro -hemis. So there you go. So that concludes this video. For more details of the theory of inductance, including magnetizing curves and all this here, magnet restriction, domain wall motion, magnetic domains aligned, saturation, magnetizing curves, different regions, linearized magnetizing curves and a model computing um, incremental inductance. Here is a, it's an analysis showing equations of how the apparent inductance equals the incremental inductance. And the link to this blog is provided in the description of the video. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. If you like this video, please like it. Subscribe to our channel to be updated of upcoming content. You don't want to miss out because we're uploading frequently. We have very good material coming up. If you would like to see a video, if you have a suggestion, please leave a comment. Contact us if you would like for us to help you, to provide you with service. Thank you very much, and I will talk to you in the next video.